man, what's up with all the Instagram be shouting? You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas got money. You can fly on the jet, tell a nigga meet you in the middle of the country somewhere, and just <clears throat> you and the homies, all y'all suit up, man, and y'all throw y'all throw paws, man. Do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Or you can meet in the middle of the street. You can pull up on a nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? All that social media shit, trying to prove shit to these motherfuckers on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Gonna get a motherfucker knocked off. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Real slick. Like, cause y'all two motherfuckers may not got them throw hands, but the niggas around you, them goons, them savages, they gonna be at a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas hungry as a motherfucker and they'll ride. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all niggas keep that shit tight, man. Y'all niggas do what a man pull to do, man. Man, pull up on another nigga or just don't say another man name at all. For real. Cause the shit slick gay. Have a safe day. Be blessed. Happy New Year. Now, here's a real street dude who grew up with a very street mother. See, Mama D was living the street life for real, for real. You know, she was a pimp and whatnot. So, Scrappy done seen some things in his lifetime, if you know what I mean. And Soldier Boy and Chris Brown doing all this internet beefing is making his skin crawl. Because Scrappy is really from the streets and his family's really from the streets. So he's looking at it like, what the hell are they doing? See, if it was a little Scrappy in the internet beef, it would have lasted about five minutes. If it's naive, Scrappy would have been on a jet. And then that person would have been flying through the air after he hit them with an uppercut. He would have put the paws on them, if you know what I mean. You see, little Scrappy is a head buster. You know, he will bust your head. And he'll tell you flat out. You don't want no problems with me. But anyways, here's what little Scrappy had to say about this video on Instagram. He said, hashtag internet gangsters. Real men get down where they get mad. At least let's be clear. Ain't no pause online. You feel me? Just get to the money and take care of your people. Don't let a sucker duck trick you off the street. You feel me? Hashtag Scriznae. Scriznae has spoken, ladies and gentlemen. He has left the building. Let me tell you something right now. Little Scrappy probably not seen some losses in the streets, you know, like uh, people losing their lives around him. He's probably seen plenty enough people get their motherfucking head busted open. Probably busted open enough motherfuckers says, as you see, he doesn't have a scar on him at all. Nope, not a blemish. So he wasn't getting his ass whooped. He might have been whooping some ass, but he wasn't getting his ass whooped. So he's, he's just letting y'all know. Worry about your money. Take care of your family. Take care of your people. And leave the other bullshit alone because the shit y'all talking... It's going to get real in a minute because y'all just talking about them goons around you. Oh, no. Oh, no. They, they, <laughs> shoot, they feel like, well, let me go prove my loyalty to him right now. I'm going to go do such and such a thing. And that's going to prove that <laughs> I'm real. And, and, it, and then the cycle just continue because then the, the other side is going to want to retaliate. And it just never freaking ends. So shout out to Little Scrappy for letting them know somebody who's a real street dude, not somebody who's just some rapper or R&B singer or whatever who hangs around people like that, but an actual street dude whose family is street, who grew up in the bullshit, letting you know. Y'all might want to leave that alone before shit gets real and then you might not be able to stop it. So before stuff gets out of hand, y'all, let's just... Let's nip this in the butt. All right. So shout out to little Scrappy for speaking up the way that he did. <laughs> Letting y'all know that this is some internet gangster shit. And, and it's, it, it, to him, it, it's not authentic. Thank you, little Scrappy. Hopefully, they will think about it and say, wow, like we do have a lot on the line. We are both multimillionaires. We both have been on television plenty of times, you know, have platinum records. You know, we have families to worry about. Chris Brown has a daughter now. You know, they have way more important things to do than to be threatening each other on camera. Seriously, so shout out to Little Scrappy for that. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter, Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 Google Plus, Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. And listen, y'all, this is why we love Little Scrappy. This is why we can't wait for Love and Hip Hop Atlanta to drop season six. We're waiting like. Uh, Somebody dropping a hot mixtape because you know season six is about to be lit, lit like the damn sun. I'm telling y'all, man, between everything that's going on with Jocelyn having the baby and, and, and all of that, man, all of that. Oh, season six is gonna be crazy, it's gonna be the biggest loving hip hop season ever. Trust me.
And if I turn on my damn television and Little Scrappy and the Bambi are not there on my TV, we riot. I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be like, where the, where the fuck is Scrappy and Bambi? If I don't see them when Love and Hip Hop comes back, oh, there's going to be problems. I'm going to be up in Mona Scott's office. <laughs> I'm going to be like, uh, hi, Mona. You're going to be like, who are you and how the hell did you get in my office? I'm going to be like, uh, how I got here doesn't matter. But baby, I am Meat Magazine in the flesh. And Mona Scott is going to be like, <gasps> Meat Magazine, I'm like, yeah, she's going to be like, oh, Jay-Z's lips, never heard of you. And I'm going to be like, well, I make videos about loving hip-hop, and you know, I have a three and a half inch, she's going to say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, you mean the little black midget in the wheelchair? And I'm be like, yeah, she's going to be like, wow, you really are three feet tall, 555 pounds, as black as the night sky with bumps and warts uh, popping all over, out all over your body, looking like a melted chocolate bar full of nuts that was left in the sun. You really do look like that. She's going to say, wow. Huh. Well, anyway, what the fuck do you want? And I'm going to be like, Mona, little Scrappy and the Bambi, with her sexy ass, we're not on your show. I need you to explain. And she's going to say, why should I explain when they can explain it to you? And I'm going to turn around. It's going to be some big dudes in all black with t-shirts and has to say security. <laughs> security up on them. She's gonna have she's gonna press that little button underneath her desk. <laughs> security's gonna security's gonna come and snatch my ass up, but I'm telling you, I'm gonna come to Mona Scott's office and get my ass whooped by security up at the VH1 building if I don't see Scrappy and Bambi on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. That's all I'm saying. So VH1, if if y'all not trying to see me get my ass whooped by security and make sure that they're on the show. That's all the fuck I'm saying. Anyways, Meat Magazine on YouTube, meatmagazine.blogspot.com. On Twitter's Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google Plus, and Meat Magazine blog on Instagram.